right, John Gatt here at CES 2009 again. I'm here with Jim Watt from Mech RC. Yep. And as you can see on the camera here, we've got a pretty funky looking robot. What can you tell us about these robots, Jim? Okay, right. Uh, Mech RC is a, a new breed of robot in the uh, entertainment market. Um, it's different to a lot of the imported robots that you get, which uh, tend to be kits and tend to be aimed at a very specialist hobby market. Right. Um, and you know what we've got is something that's really advanced, can do, as you see, lots of really cool moves. Um, but at the same time, it's really accessible to people, easy to put together. Well, there's no nothing to put together, but it's easy to get started using. And then when you've seen everything it does out of the box, you can start programming it yourself. Right, now you and program these robots on a PC, is that right? You do, but you're not using a programming language, so you don't have to worry about learning things like C++ and all that stuff that gives right. everyone a headache. So, you know, that's a real turn-off. So what we've done is we've got an animation package where it's like doing stop-motion animation, like Wallace and Gromit. I don't mm -hmm. know if you have that, but it's, yeah. you know, you have frame one, then yeah. you move the robot's arms a little bit, and you move its legs, frame two, set the time between those frames and then the robot will move from one point to the next. So how long can this guy do uh, either a dance or whatever else you want him to do for? Well, he'll dance for about 45 minutes on one charge. Right. Um, and that 45 minutes probably isn't really enough time for you to see everything that could be stored on there. So you can store an awful lot on that robot and access it all from the handset. For any RC type device, uh, 45 minutes or 50 minutes is a hell of a long time. Most cars and that, you yep. only get 15 to 20 minutes maximum out of. So yeah. yeah. It's quite a bit of time. Now, what's the most interesting thing you can make this robot do? Right, okay, well, the, clearly the dancing's great. Everyone loves the dancing. Right. But you can also get it to uh, fight. If you've got a couple of them, you can have them you know, beating each other up. Or maybe a game of footy, you know, uh -huh. you can get them as uh, soccer or, you know, Aussie rules. Yeah. So, yeah, that combines the fighting and the football. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah. so, yeah, no, really it's up to you what you want to do with it. Um, there's some great movies out there on YouTube. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, are these babies are available on, uh, in the US at the moment? They're available in the US. Uh, you can get them from Tross and Robotics uh -huh. um, and other retailers now. Thanks to the CES, we'll be uh, distributing all across North America this year. And roughly how much is it going to cost us? It's going to be about 600 US. Okay, so it's not too bad for a remote control device that's so advanced. Right? Well, that's it. It's about half the price of a lot of the competition. So, uh, yeah, we're really pleased with it. And now, does the robot have a name? Uh, this one's Shadow Stalker. Well, uh, so. thanks a lot for your time there, Jim. And also, thank you, Shadow Stalker, for your uh, demonstration there. <laughs>